There's the train. It's always making noise. There's a train down there. Can't record till the train's done. So you want to have a sale. Great big sale. Biggest sale that's ever been had. You sure you want to do that? You're sure you're sure? Okay. The balance between branding and sales activation has been well-researched and documented by Les Bennett and Peter Field. The decades-old war of whether long-term brand building is better than immediate sales was more or less ended with a truce. You need both. Brand building requires deliberate, diligent dedication. The foundation of everything we do at Wizard of Ads is brand building because brand building is quite literally the foundation of every marketing plan. But there are times when it's appropriate, maybe even necessary, to have a sale. And because these kinds of things always have some kind of mnemonic acronym, let's look at the proper way to advertise a sale. You should have a specific price. Sales should have a reason. Make a clear offer on a particular product. Give the sale an expiration date. And you should make this a rare event. Let's go through these one by one. Price. Be specific. It's as simple as saying the price was that, now it is this. A specific price, or what I like to call an anchor price, is important because it gives the customer literally an anchor of understanding why this is a good deal. If you're just saying, save 25% off double-hung windows, well, that doesn't mean anything unless I already know how much a double-hung window costs. But I don't want to tell them the price. I want them to call me. Don't give your customer homework. The reason you're having a sale is to speed up the sale. Remove the roadblocks. Be clear and specific. Windows, regularly $300, now just $225. I can do something with that. I can make a decision. Have a reason. President's Day or Labor Day isn't a particularly good reason to buy a mattress. Granted, your competitors will likely be doing it, so one could argue that you need to be in that fight, but it is a fight, and it's not going to be pretty. Far better to have your own reason to put on a sale at a time you control. Spend time studying what others are doing and, and do something else. Yo, wild bullet! Low high carpet prices right out of the water! No. Yeah. It, it should be something that's meaningful to your customer. Just because it's the end of the month and you're trying to clear inventory, well, that's not your customer's problem. Do something that makes sense to them. Grand openings, a change of season, your 10th anniversary, those could be legitimate reasons to have a sale, but it should be your own thing for your own customers based on your own product. A clear offer on a particular product. Customers are in the market for a thing, not everything. So save 25% store-wide is meaningless. You may as well say nothing at all. Try this. All Goodyear tires are $199. Now that tells me exactly what's on sale. If I'm shopping for tires, you have my attention. Again, no roadblocks. Don't gunk this up with small print or exclusions. Expiration. Again, the reason you're having a sale is to speed up the sale. You're going to have to put some urgency in there. One way is to give it an expiration date. And very soon. Your sale is not all month long. Your sale is this Wednesday only. You're talking to shoppers who are shopping now, and you need to try to cut them off before they go someplace else. Another expiration tool would be to expire the number of products you have. We only have 14 Goodyear tires for $199, and when they're gone, the sale is over. Rare. Like any special event, it's only special if it's infrequent. Major chains like Kohl's or Best Buy have a sale every week, but that requires a business model that's based on high efficiency, high volume, and a very narrow margin. This is not something that a lot of local owner-operated businesses can pull off. Twice a year, maybe once a quarter is about as much as you can and, and probably should do. Think about it this way. Fireworks are only fun a couple times a year. After that, they're just noisy and obnoxious. You've got to help me drown out high carpet prices. Okay, fine. Come on down. Finally, know what you're getting into. Having a sale comes with plenty of risks. You're communicating to your customer that price is the most important thing. 
Thus, you're relegating your product to just a mere commodity. You're telegraphing to your customer that it doesn't really matter where they shop or what brand they choose, just get the lowest price. Suddenly, you become the gas station that's always a penny cheaper. Also, it's a very expensive way to advertise. You have to spend an ocean of money to pull off a really good sales promotion just so you can rise above the noise level of all the other sales promotions that are going on. And it's a profit hog. Having a sale means lowering your prices, and that eats into your profits. Marketing professor Mark Ritson reminds us that, yes, sales promotions, quote, shift a lot of stock and also help provide short-term differentiation for your brand over the competition, but that short-term sales bump comes with a much greater hangover, as even the smallest cut in price causes financial disaster to bottom-line profitability. In other words, you've sucked demand out of the marketplace, something that you may have sold next month, you sold this month, and now you're low on funds, so the only thing left to do is, you guessed it, another sales promotion. You do need to do some sales promotion, that much is true. Just be cautious and don't make a habit of it, because it's a hard habit to break. But if you're going to do it, go big. I mean, the only thing worse than cutting into your profit just to make a sale is not making the sale at all. What are your thoughts on this? What did I miss? What did I forget? What things do you do to make sure you have a successful sale when you have one? Leave a comment in the comments below or send me an email, johnny at molsonpartners.com. April 11th and 12th, I'll be in Springfield, Missouri with four other great marketers and something that's called Brand Camp. This is a big masterclass on building a good story for your brand plus a marketing plan to go behind it. We're going to spend two days together, a small group of folks, so we have a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention with uh, these marketers, and we're going to help you uh, build this plan so you go home with something that you can apply right now plus a story that you can tell uh, that's going to motivate people and how you're going to measure these results when it happens. Go to brandcamp.org to sign up for that. In the meantime, keep musing about marketing. That's what I'm doing.